Okay, Shalom. Shalom. I want to give all praises. Let me say Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Racha Kodash. All right, double honest to my apostles and elders here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this is going to be a very quick video. I wanted to do a lesson today. And I uh, really didn't have but much. Um, but what come to mind is um, seeking salvation. So I'm going to grab a few precepts that, uh, you know, from a note, uh, from my notes, a lesson that I've done a while back called Seeking Salvation. And I want to go through those precepts again. You know, because our mind should be on the Lord. You know, you got all these distractions. You got a lot of, you know, dogma. You have a lot of philosophies, you know, that wine that's out here. And if you're not, you know, rooted, all right, then you will be seduced by wicked spirits to believe in lies. You know, there's more lies than truth. All right. So I, our job every day taking it day by day is to seek salvation you know seeking salvation of Yahweh why Yahweh shy and we know that salvation is coming because the evil time that we're living in and prophecy being fulfilled most importantly all right so what do we do we seek Yahweh why Yahweh shy right building that relationship with Yahweh why Yahweh shy you know I remember Elder Apostle Gabar years ago he brought that into his lesson and that stuck with me so, you know, I'm just repeating it, you know, building that relationship with the Most High or with Yahweh Shai, because technically Yahweh ain't dealing with us. That's why he gave us his son and his son, which is our big brother, right? Which his name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls, uh, you know, JC. He um, gave his body as a living sacrifice for us. He was, you know, created to what be our savior. All right, which really he was going back the first spirit created, right? He has the most uh, highest office conceivable as far as ranks under the most high. He's that top, you know, that top, that top, uh, let's say he's that top power. He's the top power under Yahweh, right? So, Yahweh Shai, he came, we all know, and he gave his body as a living sacrifice for his friends. And through his friends, which is the elect, the men and the men and women that believed in him, right? Through through these men, right, all Israel will be saved because we have the power to bring back Israel. Alright? Every every seed is uh every nationality is determined by the seed of their father. Alright. So I got Second Chronicles chapter 15 and 13. That whosoever would not seek uh Whosoever would not seek Yahweh, the God of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So if you're not seeking after the Heavenly Father and his ways and to really repent, right, you know, because what you shall understand is through the prophets, you shall understand this gospel. You shall understand the prophecies. You, you, you should understand this book if you're an Israelite. And how you are an Israelite, you're an Israelite from the seed of your father. If your father goes back to one of the tribes of Israel, which are 12 tribes, right? As it's written in Revelations, uh, I think it's seven. It talks about um, 12,000 of each tribe, right? Which which is going to be that body of Yahawashai made married, you know, when the Yahawashai returned. You know, it said 12,000 of each tribe. And it went through Judah, Benjamin, Levi, you know, Ephraim, and so on, all the way down to Ishakar. If your father go back to being one of these uh, tribes, then you are an Israelite. And there's nothing you can do about it. You could say that you're not an Israelite because you don't believe in it. Cool. But you will be judged by the Heavenly Father because he's chosen you to be an Israelite, whether you like it or not. Israel is a people before a place, and being an Israelite, you have to be born an Israelite. This is not something you can convert, you know? 
Christianity got it wrong and it was all lies, making you believe that, you know, the Lord or the God is for everybody. The Bible is is clearly, right? The God of the Bible is the God of the Israelites. And he have chosen his only people. And he have not dealt so with any other people. All right? So anyway, right? It says that whosoever, and don't get hung up on whosoever. All right? It says that whosoever, which is whosoever of Israel. Okay? It says that whosoever would not seek Yahweh, the power of Israel, should be put to death. Whether small or great, whether man or woman. So whether if you're an Israelite and you're not seeking after Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, chasing that crown, you know, or seeking salvation, because, you know, a woman ain't going to receive a crown. She's going to receive salvation, you know, through Yahweh shy, through her husband. All right. Being a part of that body. So seeking salvation. If you're not doing that, the Lord said what? The scriptures say it says should be put to death. All right. So we know that also two thirds of the Lord's people. The Heavenly Father is going to judge right here in Babylon, Babylon the Greek. So that means if you're here in Babylon, you're a part of the two-thirds club if you're not seeking after Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so moving on, Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High, not of works, lest any man should boast. All right, so how are we saved? We're saved through our faith. Like I said, this is 101. You know, you brothers... Y'all know the scriptures. You, you sisters, y'all know the scriptures. You know, this is for those who maybe don't understand quite. Just coming along, you know, trying to get this understanding. Hopefully you get understanding and edified in this lesson. Right? It says, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. So it's not of you. All right? You don't, don't think that you're going to be saved by all the works you do. All right? It's, it's, it's really through your faith. Works is good because it proves your faith. So being honest and truthful, having that integrity, being sincere, these things, yes, they matter. You want to remain and striving for righteousness each and every day. We establish righteousness, man. The Lord is going to establish this righteousness in the earth when he comes. But as for us, as we can help it, you know, we're not supposed to live according to this world. You know, we're not supposed to live according to the fashions and the philosophies and the religions of this world and the false gods. We're supposed to worship our power. All right. So it says, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the most high. So being saved is, is, a, is the gift. It's the gift, man. All right. The Lord gave you faith so that you can be saved. That's the gift. So if we have that faith, we want to hold on, all right? We want to keep pushing no matter what, even when shit get rough and tough. Even when things are easy breezy, we're still praising Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man, okay? So it says, not of works, at least any man should boast. Yeah, because some men, they might not believe in Yahweh shy, right? You got the Old Testament ninjas. They don't believe in the New Testament. They think by they, them keeping the laws, they're going to be saved. And that's not the case. For one, right, we all fell as Gentiles and none of us could keep all the laws of the Lord that was given to us. So that makes us what? Sinners. All right. And the scriptures say if you offend one law, you offend all. So, you know, for you knuckleheads out there that can't get it through your thick dome, that you think you're going to be saved by keeping the law, you need to understand that if you don't keep all the laws, then guess what? You're guilty of all. This is why we need the grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. This is why, and one reason why Yahweh Shai gave up his body and his blood for us. We need their grace. We need the faith. We have to have faith in order, you know, let me say we have to have this faith because in the times that we're living in now, when you think about it, how do we actually survive? How do we actually worship our true and living power? We needed faith because it's a time, it's a time gap, right? Yahweh Shai walked on the earth about roughly 2,000 some odd years ago. And now we're in 2024, so they say, and the Lord has given us back our identity. He's waking his men back up, the prophets, and he sent them forth. And it's to gather the Lord's people who believe in Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. How do they hold on? They needed faith in Yahweh Shai. 
Because Yahweh Shai said what? He will come again. Right? A return to make us one with him. Right? So this is why faith is so important. The laws itself, yes, it matters because it governs our flesh. All right? It governs our flesh. So don't think that, okay, well, I ain't got to keep the law. You can do whatever you want. No, you'll be a fool to do that. You'll pile on iniquity. You got to have the right understanding. All right? If you have 100% truth, which we have here in GMS, Great Millstone, and that's not a brag or boast. All right? You have to have 100% you know, truth in order to worship Yahweh while Yahweh was shy. And to back that up, I think that's John 4. The Lord said that he looked forward uh, for them to worship him in spirit and truth. All right. Not just, you know, truth. Truth is 100 percent. There's no fault in truth. You can't debunk truth. Truth is truth. All right. If you got the truth, you got 100 percent truth. You know. Word up. You can't have truth mixed with lies. That is a lie. You got to have truth, right? 100% truth, man. You can try to mix lies with truth, but that shows you overall you have lies. You know? Truth is not tainted. Truth is potent. Truth is real, uh, raw and authentic. You know? It's, it's uh, truth. <laughs> Amaf in the Hebrew. Math, you know? So, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves... It is the gift of the Most High, a gift. So the brothers and the sisters that's going to be saved, be thankful that you got the gift, man. I just hope and pray, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he continue to show forth his mercy upon us, brothers, and you few sisters, man. You know, the apostles, the elders, all us brothers that's in the faith, continue to endure to the end, man. You know, because we got the gift. We got the gift, man. We already got it. Remember, the game is rigged. If you know the scriptures, you know the game is rigged because why? The elect was was chosen from the very beginning. So the game is rigged. And just know, not everyone out here is, is serving the Lord the right way. You got Israelite groups out here, but they're not serving the Lord correctly. They got false names. They got a, 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 a false doctrine when it comes to the prophecy. You know, if they take that MOTB, that's their ass, man. You know, they could do all this so-called righteousness and, you know, and think they're doing well in the Lord. But if you take that karagma, guess what? You're going to be destroyed. So it's best to serve the Lord with 100% truth of knowing the scriptures. So you have the right understanding. You know, we know who we worship, man. And it's important. The Father let us know that um, he wants us to worship him in spirit and truth. You know, not in lies. Why would he allow us to have lies? We're in a time of revelation, man. Revealing. Mysteries. You know, the mysteries are, they've been revealed. The prophecies is being revealed as, as I speak. It's just, it's just the waiting period. The patient period. The suffering period. Until it passed through. Until it come to pass. You know? So it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. So we got the gift, man. Be thankful every day that the Lord gave you the gift of faith, you know, to participate, to be, you know, to, to have the, the will and spirit to be occupied in this truth. And that goes for man and woman. You know, you got a husband. Be thankful that you got a man of the Lord if that's your husband, you know. Be thankful. Or be thankful that you got the Lord. You know the Lord in this truth, you know, and that, you know, that, 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 that the Lord installed you with this truth. It's very important, man, for us brothers, because I was speaking that on women, but on us brothers, be thankful that we, we truly have the knowledge and understanding and wisdom of these times, man. We know who the wicked is, the enemies are. That's that's a blessing to know who your enemy is, to actually understand the, understand the truth, to have hope, you know, because what hope would you have? You know, a lot of these jokers are freaking out right now, especially the wealth, the wealthy, the rich. They freaking out, you know, because they're watching what's coming down the pipe. They're seeing what the future is looking like and they're scrambling, you know, they're stressing, they're moving, you know, because they're afraid they're going to lose all their riches. This to this Tartaric, what's how you say it, you know, because laws are going to be passed where things are going to change. It's going to change your life and they're going to make everything strict. That's what the process is now, man. 
to move in that CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, all right, and to lock everything down. Uh, I forgot what video I was watching yesterday, but uh, they were saying that um, uh, in Philly, they actually gonna be finding, um, you know, street mechanics. And dudes, and they was interviewing people, and they like, why, you know? They don't even know what's coming down the pike. You know, it's like, this stupid. How somebody supposed to make a living? You know, they want to really get rid of street mechanics. You might not have the bread, the money. You know, you might not have the money to um to go into a shop. And you might know a dude that's good on your block that could help you out, hook you up. Because you don't know about cars too well. You pay him a few bucks. You buy your part. You pay him for the labor work. And they see that shit. They gonna find his ass, man. You know, that's it. Oh, it was the video that Edom Mike brothers were sharing yesterday. That's the video I saw. And basically, he was saying how basically all of the uh, governors of the state or of the city, yeah, what is it, of the state, and um, they were all coming together having this meeting on closing the convenience stores at a certain hour because they're blaming the violence on the people, the business workers or the business itself. You know, so what that is, when I saw that, I said, this is their way of clamping down because they need to have strict, um, strict, um, uh, what's the word? They need to have strict orders on these and tracking. They got to track everything. So the world that we're about to go into, if Edom has his way, because his vision is, is, is sick, right? You won't have a life that you have, you live now, man. This is not a life itself already when we have liberty. How much more when they take away your liberty and restrict you from doing the things that you think that is just normal to do, right? This devil got to go, man. Got to go, man. For for us that can for us that can see, when we see the news and we see clips like that and they doing these things, we understand what's coming in. That's the NWO. They got to tighten up. They got to get um in order everything so they can make everything strict and put it into their power. That's what that move was, man. So that's what I, that's what came to my mind when I saw that. Maybe I could play a little bit of the video. Maybe I might or might not. So moving on, this is Romans chapter ten and eight. But what say it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is, the word of faith, which we preach. See, it's all about faith, man. It's not about the gimmicks. It's not about being a part of a clique. The best group out there, Hebrews, who got the. Uh, you know, who, who could cut up Christians uh, who don't know the Bible? That's so easy when, because Christians, they don't, they have a different, they have a wrong understanding of the scriptures. You know, they some of them may know something, but then they don't understand the truth. It's not about being a battle, what you call like a battle rapper, because you got a lot of these groups, dudes think they are uh, top prophets because they can cut up a couple of Christians in the scriptures. You know, it's not about that. It's about faith, man. You know, and Apostle Paul said in Romans 14, he said, uh, um, have thou faith, have it to thyself before the most high. You're supposed to eat this word with faith. That's why you that's why you came into this thing. The Lord called you into this thing. So for you to have faith, to have that gift. And if you stay away from that gift, that means you're not of you're not of the Lord's elect. If you stand away from faith, then you're not of the Lord's elect. You was probably just basically used. Right. The most high is using false prophets as well. That's how I showed you, show you how cold and how perfect, the perfect understanding and the perfection, you know, omnipotent, all powerful that Heavenly Father is. That he uses everything, you know, all for his purpose of his will. That, that, that's, that's a true power, man. A true power that he uses not only just, you know, his right hand side, he uses the left hand side as well. And it all works according to his will. Right? So it says, but what say it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith, which we preach. Right? Us brothers here in Great Millstone from the apostles and elders on down. We preach the word of faith. Faith in who? Yahweh, why? Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, well, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. So it says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahawashai, and shalt believe in thy heart that the Most High have raised him from the dead, 
thou shalt be saved. So if you believe the reports, more than likely, you're going to be saved. Because the Most High have given you, you know, chosen you from the beginning. Only the elect is actually going to believe. All right? You got people that's faking jacks. They acting like they believe, but they're going to get dropped off. Because their faith is going to be tried. And it's going to be a, a trial period where the Lord is going to have them expose themselves. And they're going to be cut short. But the, but the ones that are chosen, they're going to endure everything all the way to the end. You know? And that's through that faith that they have. That gift, man. So it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord, Yahweh Shai. That's why it's important to pray. Right? It's, it's very important to pray to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Put your prayers up because uh, prayers is a form of begging. Right? It's a form of uh, worship. All right? It's also um, a way to exercise your power and to build your relationship with your heavenly father and your big brother, Yahweh Shai, your Lord, you know, even though the most high is not dealing with us, but you know, he hears all things, man. You know, he knows all things. All right. Yahweh Shai is that, that mediator between the father and us. You know, I tell a couple brothers, Sometimes when we chatting, like, you know, you want your, um, your, your, you want, you want your striving righteousness to outweigh your wickedness, right? You want to give Yahweh Shah something to work with. You want to give the angels that's reporting, not give more, you know, give more credit for the left-hand side angels that are reporting against you as well. I think about, you know, because in my mind, the Lord had me think. When he, you know, y'all brothers know when he, um, in Kings, when he sat on the throne and the angel came on the left, one come on the right. So when I first ever read that, the Lord made me understand in my vision, you know, that, uh, you know, that's how he did. All right. That's just how he did. It's a courtroom session. So while I was walking in his truth, I always keep in mind, you know, sometimes you go off, you do stupid shit, right? It ain't the end of the world. You can repent. As long as repentance is open But you want to let your righteousness Your striving righteousness Because really none of us are righteous So you want to let your striving righteousness Outweigh the wickedness that you may do We always commit sin but not willingly man You know Every day we commit sin So you want the Lord to forgive you And I always picture in my mind You know the angels that are, that are around you every day You got right hand side angels You got left hand side angels that are around you And they all report <laughs> you know, left hand go up Yo, he did this Right hand go up, but look, he did this And Yahweh Shai is there You know, to oversee all that You know, and he prays You know, he prays for his elect The ones that the Most High have given to him Which he called friends, man Alright And he had, it's not just the 12 disciples That became the apostles that believed in him He had many men um, Some fell away even after seeing him come back, I read this yesterday, after seeing him come back in the flesh after he gave up the spirit the third day, even these men that saw him, that believed in him, some of them guys fell and went back into the world. Even knowing that he, he came back, you know, and appeared before them and stayed with uh, the 12 for about 40 days, you know, and he showed, he told them many uh, things about the kingdom. He gave them hope. He gave them, he said, look, keep the faith. And he told them, look, it's not your, it's not your position to know the hour and the time. All right. Just look for these things. Because the next time he comes, he's going to bring the kingdom. And that's what we're looking for now. We're seeing the signs that he says in Matthew uh, 24. All right. Second edges 9. Second edges 15. Second edges 16. Okay. Um, Revelations. You know, we're seeing all the signs because of the prophets that prophesied. We're seeing them today. So we know that we're near. As Apostle Paul says, salvation is nigh. He said, it's, well, he said it's near. He said salvation is nearer than when we believe. So let me continue. Verse 9. If That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh Shai, and shalt believe in thy heart that the Most High have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So it's important to believe in the reports. Don't be no yes man. You know, we're doing this, we're in this truth for our salvation. All right. You want to be a yes man and, you know, 
be a man pleaser, that's on you. Because when the goings gets tough, you, you, you have to realize nobody could save you but the Lord, man. All right? You know, you have to, you have to uh, understand that. You know, you can try to fake jacks and fake it, but the faking it won't make it. You know, that rhymes. Faking it won't make it. You know? Because at the end of the day, when the shit hit the fans, more than likely we're going to be on our own. You have to imagine, you have to th count the cost, as the scriptures say. You know? Consider if you can finish finish the race. Because when you think about it, Jacob's trouble, the Lord already for one as he gave us the vision. So I give it to you one that I have in my mind. When Jacob hit the fan, ain't gonna be no cell phones. Right? Ain't gonna be no cell phones, no lights. When when the military and the Third World War is activated, you know, and it's it's come to it, uh, this this country called America or this city, you wanna say, this corporation. All right, whatever how you want to spend it. When it comes here and it's activated, it's going to be all hell on earth, man. People are going to be in distress. People are going to be worrying about saving their own families. You're going to have to make your own decisions. And I used to say this, I say this in camp, when the Lord put the spirit on us, brothers, when we prophesize it. Your first war going to be with your family and then your neighbors, you know? So I was thinking about 2nd Edges 15, 2nd Edges 16, you know, because when shit hit the fan, the people who are close to you is going to be your enemy. You know, not if, is, is everybody case going to be that way? Maybe not. All right. But in some cases, your family, then your neighbors, because in Second Edges 15, we know that it says sedition among men. They shall be, they shall be invading one another. These things are going to happen, man. So you got to take this in consideration. You know, you got to picture yourself. Look, you got your woman in the house. You got your kids. You may got a newborn. And you got four dudes outside your door circling around your crib. You know, trying to get in there. Because they figure you got food. They need to look. And they know you in there. You know how terrifying that would be? And they got guns. They got weapons. They trying to bang your windows out. You know? What you going to do? <laughs> Something to think about, man. That's why it's good to have this relationship and seek salvation of the Lord. Scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. These are just some scenarios that you got to think about. You should think about. You might just be in that situation. Well, that's, could that situation be for you? No. Every brother has his lot. All right. Another brother could be just taken away from his family and put cast into prison. Now what? That's just another situation. You know, for the brothers that pilgrim, it's still going to be scary. It's still going to be uh, 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 a lot of shit going on because you got to survive. <laughs> and you got to survive against the ninjas out here, man. You women, look, <laughs> shit. Women, women going to have an issue when they don't have a man in that day. You're going to be ravaged by men, by wolves. You're going to be ravaged by the wolves, man. And the wolves come in packs, you know. They come in packs, especially these young wolves. And they go, they see what they like, they're gonna take a bite. Just like that. Who's gonna stop them? So these things you gotta consider. So let's move on, right? Next verse. Verse 10. It says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It says, For the scriptures say, What's whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So with our mouth, we are we making confession, you know. When we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're confessing. We 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 believe. It's all about believing. You know, brothers going doing the works each and every day, going to camp. When the time they camp go out during the week, you know, that's that sacrifice, man. So it says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mind. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So this confession that we we push forth, praising Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, it's gonna bring forth that salvation. It says, because it's proven your faith. Nobody has to ask you what type of faith you have. They'll see it. They'll see it. Right? For the scriptures say, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. And we're not ashamed of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? We're not ashamed. 
So this is Titus chapter 3 and 5. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, man. You see that? Regeneration. Right? Re means back. Generation means seed. Matter of fact, let me do this real quick. Let me do this. All right, regener uh, that's reincarnation. Uh, do, do, do. Regeneration, re means back again. Generation means bring forth, right? This is uh, bring forth again. Let me read that again. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, regeneration, re means back again. Generation means to bring forth, right? So to bring forth again. And I have um, the dictionary.com. Uh, regenerate look up regenerate right uh 1550s back formation from regeneration or else from the latin uh it says to bring forth again originally religious of the body parts from 1590s uh related regenerated regenerating replaced earlier regen regenerate regenerating uh but basically it means what uh, to bring forth again So re means back Generation means to bring forth So to bring forth again Right so keep that in mind So now let me go back To the scripture Let's go back to it It says not by works of righteousness Which we have done But according to his mercy He saved us by the washing Of regeneration Right to right from Bring forth back again, right? For us coming back, right? And it says, and renewing of the Holy Spirit, that Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit is what teaches us all things. All right, right now we have the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of the scriptures. Soon the Holy Spirit is going to activate spiritual powers in certain brothers so they could perform those miracles that Yahweh Shah did. Even more, Yahweh Shah said, You shall do greater works than him. So, brothers, going to perform. Uh, miracles in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai to the Lord's people, and they're gonna believe, right? At the very end, man, which we like to call the eleven o'clock Israelites, right? Uh, Acts four and twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So the name of the Father and the name of the Son is so important. Don't never let nobody tell you differently. All right. And to believe in the name, to believe in the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is going to take faith. The Lord has to give you his name. So it's not really of us. You know, we can teach until your head hurt. And, you know, if the Lord don't open up that understanding in you, you're not going to get it. You know, and most people that can't get this truth, they scoff against it because they think it's foolish. You know, or they have some other type of understanding from some other doctrine they, they took it, they ate up. You know, I remember this chick uh, asking questions and shit, and um, she was stuck on fallen angels and uh, you know the left hand side, the prince, the you know the tempter, Satan, you want to call it whatever. She was stuck on that after broke down the scriptures to her. She's still stuck on that, you know. It's amazing because the Lord just didn't unlock it in her mind, you know. So you can't really even teach her any more than what she don't want. She don't want to understand. You know, and Israel is hard headed. Israel need to actually see with physical, you know, they hard headed. So that's why I understand why the Lord is going to allow brothers to have spiritual powers, not only just to protect their family. Right. Because the Lord said he will lift up a standard, but also to perform these miracles so that Israel would believe meaning these like these Israelites at the very end. You know, they're going to believe and they're going to see it and they're going to they're going to come in. All right, not all Israel, but the elect of Israel, and that's just the way the Lord designed it. All right, so don't question me, question Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. That's just the way He is. Is that's this is moving. All right, uh, John fourteen and six, it says uh, Yahweh shy say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. 
If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen me. All right. So nobody could get to the father unless you go through the son. And that's just the way he set it up. You got a problem with that. You got to take it up with them, with him. He's him. All right. Not of us. We're just spreading what the truth is, what the gospel and the word is. All right. We're not fighting against it. We understand it. But for those that don't, that's your problem. That's why it's important to be thankful for us brothers and you few sisters that get this word. You know, that faith, that's the gift, man. That's the gift, so don't forget it. So, Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.